What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, You're glowing. Oh, thank you. Good lighting from the natural sunshine. <laughs> when Jess left Anchored Center, his employees, co-workers got him a gift card specifically to use on ramen. And they suggested a few, but unfortunately they were all closed on Sunday afternoon. So we found this one, it's called Jinya Ramen Bar. And we've actually eaten here before in San Diego. And then I think last May when we were here, we ate at a different location. And from what we recall, it was very good. So we're gonna see how this one stacks up. And yeah, we're both very hungry. So let's Can't be ramen. Well, we did have that sock water ramen I mean, like just in general, ago. ramen is such a great meal. Feels per like the perfect way to end a weekend. Yes. Let's okay. do it. Here's our quick review of Jinya Ramen Bar in Vegas, which we just found out that it's actually a franchise. So they have them all over the US, which has our wheels turning. Mm hmm. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> I would say 4.25 stars out of five. Nice. Yeah, it was a really good broth. And that's kind of like the starting point with ramen is it, the broth has to be very flavor, flavorful, but also have a lot of depth to it. And you get that from usually like a 12 or 24 hour cook. And they nailed it with the broth. The noodles were thin and toward like al dente which yeah. is exactly what you want. You want a nice, thin, chewy noodle that does not taste like top ramen noodles. They need to taste like more authentic than that. So they did good there. The pork, the sliced pork that they called chashu was, I would say top notch. Yeah. The only thing they could have done better is take a flame to the very outside of it to give it a little bit of a crunchy texture. But it was melting your mouth, so it, it it's like the eggs were really good. It's like a hot fresh donut. It's on par with that. It's it's just excellent. And then mm -hmm. the egg was cooked perfectly. It was a, a soft boiled egg that was marinated from what yeah. I could tell. So a lot of flavor Gee. and the perfect yolk consistency and yeah, overall the experience in there was good vibes really friendly they had our order out in 23 seconds and yeah. it, the Sapporo on draft that we had was perfect along with the ramen and yeah it was I have no complaints really yeah are we saying five stars is Ichiran or the mm. that other one that we had in Japan yeah I guess five stars is like this flawless experience but it takes you to a level that you didn't imagine was possible with mm -hmm. food so this was pretty much flawless it was excellent in every way <clears throat> but we have had one or two places 
in Japan that were better. Yeah. Or and maybe even one or two here in the States that were <clears throat> slightly better. Because we've been to a lot of ramen spots, but yeah. this one is like good prices and great across the board experience. Definitely be it's, back, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would say mine is 4.3 out of 5 stars. Can you do that? You did 4.256 or something. You didn't. What'd you do? 4.25. Oh, why can't I do 4.3? I, don't know. <laughs> I, everything Jess said, I thought it was the best bowl of ramen that we've had so far. Yeah. In Vegas, there is a place called Momofuku, which is in the Cosmopolitan Hotel on the Strip. And Jess has had their ramen. Two years ago. Two years ago that blew his mind. Sort of three years now. And then we went back there in May and had their ramen, but we got like a lunch special. So it was like a smaller thing of ramen and it just didn't do it, it like justice. It was a simplified version of like a, like a show you ramen tire. I don't know what yeah. it was, but it was, it just wasn't representative of what they could really bring. So. Yeah. So that'll be our next ramen spot. Most likely. Maybe we'll go on a date night and go there. What's that? I don't know, but we do have grandparents now that live with us, so we need to tap into that. But anyways, awesome experience. The only thing that I would have changed, which is minor, is a lot of these ramen places have spice levels and they ask you, like with any bowl you get, you know, you could go mild all the way up to extra hot or whatever. And they didn't have any options readily like on the menu for that or they didn't ask us if we wanted spice i'm sure if we ask yeah. them next time we can get it on there and then some places but, have chili oil on the table or like a dry sort of powder chili spice like, that you could add they didn't have any of that stuff but yeah that that's that is a good critique because it, it it could have used a little bit of a spice to it so if you're in the vegas area mm. Jinya ramen bar or actually anywhere in the country because like we yeah. said they they have them all over uh definitely worth a visit and thanks to my crew in anchorage for sponsoring this meal <laughs> miss you guys <laughs> okay like the video leave a comment if you want subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and see you soon